can be easy to, uh, you know, get hang up, hung up on these short seasons, but you got to have the memory of a goldfish sometimes. Ruin in the pocket. He's going to get sacked. He had all day to get rid of it right there, and he is going to get taken down. That was a nice play there by number 69, L.L. Third and 16, pass play for Bruin. Quick throw over the middle, and it's picked off. Picked off over the middle of the field, and that one's going to be returned. Good Ooh. return down to the 33-yard line, and that was a good play there for Frank Bernstein. Um, I think we made the comparison to Drew Bledsoe and Tom Brady. You know, we'll have to see if it gets it rises to that level. Patterson fires deep to the end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown, Bob Long. And that's a good way to start your relationship with your new tight end. You don't have to force a fumble. You don't have to force an interception and, you know, make a bad mistake that leads to the opposing team busting off some big yardage. Just contain them. Patterson. Runs around the pocket, does a spin Ooh. move, and he's sacked, taken down in the backfield, ran around for a little bit too long there, and that's an excellent pay by Logan Gardner. Third down and four. It's going to go to Vicarian. Vicarian looking for a hole, can't get there, stays on his feet. He does oh. get there, goes down the sideline, and a huge gain. Way to turn nothing into something there for the rookie, Shepard Vicarian. Bruin under center eye formation could be a run play here on third and four. It won't be. It's a pass. Bruin clean pocket again. O-line doing a fine job. Throws right side. It's oh. caught at the goal line. It's going to be first and goal. Beautiful catch there by the new tight end, Talon Steele. Get a little bit of motion across the field. Going to send one of the tight ends out wide. And it's going to be a toss play to the left side. And it's going to walk in for Shepard Vicarian. And now officially welcome to the SFL for Vicarian. Takes a long time at the line of scrimmage. Bruin really trying to dissect this defense. And now will be a handoff to Vicarian. Vicarian with a little bit of an inside handoff. And he has space. Vicarian down to the 40, down to the 30, down to the 21 man to beat. Can he beat him at the 10? Ooh. He cannot. He's down to the 7. And Shepard Vicarian in his first game in the SFL, making his presence known here early. And Siege Vicarian doing a fantastic job. Breaks this first tackle we're going to see. And then just so much green grass in front of him. Seemingly nothing that can be done to stop him there. It's third and goal. Vicarian in the backfield. Let's see if he gets the ball here. Bruin under center. Bruin tosses it to him left-hand side. Oh. Shoves him in. Off him into the end zone, Shepard Vicarian, second touchdown of the day. That'll give him 100 yards, and we're not even halfway through the second quarter. I think that is the kind of play that OJ, uh, that OJ has been uh, visualizing all preseason, all offseason. Here we go. It's going to be a toss right side, and that'll be completed, and that is completed to steal. Talon steal the tight end again with another big catch. It's first and ten. They, they really, this is, I, I think, a big uh, opportunity to stabilize for Canton as they get the ball back with less than a minute to go, but all of their timeouts. All right, so it's going to be third down and three from about the 50. Patterson looking to pass, throws it quick, completes it. Great throw, and that one's going to go to Al Dillapree Sr. That's Owens. Owens has been the motion man for much of the game today, kind of the slot receiver what they signed him from Arizona for. Patterson fires right side, completes it to Owens, and that'll take him down to about the 23-yard line. It's first and 10. To, to build your run game is this raw physicality. Patterson fires quick over the middle. One-hand snag down for a first down. It'll be at the two-yard line. All right, Patterson comes in under center. Two yards, first and goal. Lots of chances they're going to give to Johnson. Johnson walks in for the touchdown, and Canton fires back on their opening drive of the second half. Their defense gets the three and out. Their offense walks down the field and answers back after a tough second quarter, Ooh. and they make it 17-13 to 13, pending the extra point. The cut-up highlight reel of this game in, in in my mind and it's so far it's mostly siege vicarian that huge run down the sideline and you know body checking his way into the end zone those are the two of the big ones here we go completion for a first down over the middle that one goes to talon steel <laughs> that is exceptional 
He's only had four yards where he hasn't been touched tonight. That is remarkable. Here we go. Bruin rolls out all the time in the world, fires deep, and he finds a man. Touchdown, David Gares. That's the first time we've said his name all day. And O.J. Bruin was patient, and he found a soft part in the defense, and he fires it in there for a touchdown. Well, it's been O.J. Bruin, the surgeon today, just really exploiting the coverage. I don't know if they had a fantastic week in practice or just a fantastic film room session. All right, so here we go. Patterson looking to fire. He fires middle. It's picked off. It is picked off. And what a game he is having today. John Martin, a couple of big sacks early and now the interception. And it's John Martin uh, again, we should say, perhaps the the five season member of the Jacksonville Kings has has been there for my entire tenure. If they could bring this down past four minutes, three minutes, even to the two minute warning, they would be absolutely thrilled. Oh, oh. Vicarian puts it on the ground and it's recovered by Jamal. Oh, Vicarian was probably having the best game of anyone today and he puts it on the ground in clutch time oh no oh my yeah and just popped it we're not quite able to see what happened i mean just sort of a, a drop of the ball there once against the slot receiver ryan owens owens lines up in the slot patterson has johnson in the backfield lots of options he's looking to throw slings it over the middle caught touchdown that is caught by jack wall i believe his second of the game and Patterson under center, long eye formation. They bring Johnson back out, showing rush here, and they will with Rivera, the fullback. Rivera picks up the first down as the clock will tick under three minutes. And again, just not really the pocket, not really forming, and it knocks Canton back a few yards here. Here we go, Patterson looking to sling it. Slings it left side, complete. That's going to be Rivera. Rivera, oh. fullback, a nice move, and he gets a first down. What a day for the fullback, Terriano Rivera. They would like the end zone. Big third down and six here. Scar Patterson has two receivers on each side, and Johnson in the backfield. Big play for Patterson. His first season on this new team. Can he make a big play? Rolls out right, fires, and he gets a completion. He gets it to the new receiver, Ryan Owens, the new guy to the new guy, and that's a huge first down. 12 seconds left on the clock. Can Patterson have a moment? Throws it into the end zone. It's oh. picked off! It is picked off in the end zone! The one thing they couldn't have happen! Towers picks it off, and Jacksonville on opening night is going to barely escape by the skin of their teeth with a victory. Oh, and it is Roy Towers just lurking deep in the end zone, and it's such a good read because that really is, I think, the word for the performance that Shepard Vicarian put on today for Jacksonville. Of course, O.J. Bruin did a fantastic job leading this offense, dissecting the Canton defense, but it really was Shepard Vicarian who popped in a, in a very successful Jacksonville offense here today.